Today for this segment, we're going to be programming our ETO2 snowmelt controller for a single zone electric radiant snowmelt system. To start, we're going to press the select button twice to get to this screen. Once you're at this screen, scroll down almost to the bottom to the setup and hit select. From here, we want to scroll down to the bottom again until we get to reinstall. When we get the reinstall, press select. The system will now ask you for a password. The password for your system is 1202. Turn the knob to the right to increase the number until you get to 1202, then press select. From this menu, it will now ask us to select a scale. For this installation, I'm going to select Fahrenheit. Next, it'll ask you for sensor 1. Since we're on a single zone system, we only have one in-ground sensor, we want to select ETOG. There is no second sensor for a single zone system, so select off for sensor 2. There is no outdoor sensor, so for this selection, select off. Finally, for application, we are programming this box as an electric one zone electric radiant system. Select electric one zone. We are now back at our main screen. From this screen, the system will tell you whether or not zone 1 is active or off. It will also give you the sensor temperature on this display. We need to go into the setup features one more time and verify some of our programming options. Once again, hit the select button until you get to setup. Select setup. From here, we want to verify what our set temp one is. The set temp feature on here is the temperature at which the system will activate when there's moisture present on the moisture grid. For almost all applications, we want to be between 38 and a half to 39 degrees. Make sure that your system is within that range. Go scroll down a little bit further till you get to after run timer one. The after run timer is a timer that will keep the system active even after it is no longer detecting moisture on the moisture grid. The purpose of this after run timer is to keep the system active long enough to evaporate moisture off the surface so that when the system shuts down there is no moisture on the surface left to refreeze. If after your initial run time there's still moisture on your on your surface of your driveway or your walkway you will need to increase your after run time. For starters, we recommend about an hour and 30 minutes. The next thing you want to verify is that your sensor heat is on. This is an important feature. The in-ground sensor should heat up all on its own when the system is not active. That way, when a snowstorm hits and snow is falling on the sensor, it is melted into water right away and activates the moisture sensor. Also make sure the moisture control is on and your sensitivity should be set to normal. When all this is done, you can go through and exit at the bottom of the screen and go down on, this, on the next screen and exit as well and you're back to the main screen. This concludes the programming of a single zone electric radiant system. Thank you.